are here at Woodbridge to certify the A400M for operations on unprepared runways. In the case of the A400M, we have already tested and certified operations in laterite runways and also in grass runways. In this case, in a runway which is basically sand, but representative of a soft unpaved runway without vegetation. 23 Parachute Engineer Regiment have been working closely with Airbus in order to design and build the natural surface temporary landing zone here at Woodbridge. We've created the TLZ in a 12 week construction period. So not only have we managed to build the TLZ, but we've actually maintained it on a daily basis to ensure that the specification that was highlighted by Airbus was maintained for the duration of the trial. The big challenge was to build the Empire runway for bare rough terrain and to remove the top layer which was organic and to go to the second layer which was sandy to something which looks like a dumb platerite with flexibility and cohesion. Our job today is to prove that the aircraft can land safely on bare soft runways. For that purpose, the runway was measured in terms of strength and cohesion along the campaign and inspected after each aircraft operation. On the aircraft side, the main challenge has been to analyze the data real-time, integrating uh, inputs from different domains to confirm that we were always having an acceptable level of loads. It's uh, really useful for our flight test engineers to have a set of uh, real-time monitoring tools which uh, helps them to understand the behaviour of the aircraft in these particular conditions. For example, we have developed some screens which allow to understand the behaviour of the aircraft's uh, loads of the landing gear, uh, also the braking pressures and other parameters relevant for this campaign. Overall, the aircraft has performed very well. Very good controllability, good braking and good steering. And actually, in terms of uh, landing and takeoff performances, the aircraft has performed better than expected. The A400M has behaved magnificently. Uh, the handling qualities have been excellent and we've had even better results than we were expecting. And we will certify to begin with 115 tonnes and then incrementally improve that over time. So what does that mean for the customer? It means that they can deliver to the point of need a very useful cargo. For example, they can take 30 tonnes into a very short sandy strip and that could be 30 tonnes of uh, humanitarian aid, a 30 tonne army fighting vehicle or excavating equipment such as JCBs. We can take enough fuel to travel for six hours from a main operating base to land that 30 tonnes on the strip and to deliver the equipment where it's needed.